I'm Jen Sincero, and I write, speak, and coach people all over the world on how to get over your crap so you can start living an awesome life. I know all about this kind of stuff because I used to be such a big fat loser. It's kind of a miracle I'm not broadcasting this from the basement at my mom's house. Once upon a time, there was a loser. Not just any loser, but a big, fat loser. For one thing, I was always broke. I had no idea how to make money. I was always scraping by and driving around in these crappy cars with no grills and doing things like buying toothpaste I didn't even like just because it was 10 cents cheaper than the stuff I did want. We always worried about Jennifer because we didn't know whether she was making any money or where she was. I also really sucked at relationships. I'd always date these guys who were either unavailable or a little bit crazy or gay. It was like, you're sleeping with six other people right now? Awesome. You look like you live under a bridge. Could you be any hotter? Eventually, I got really sick of it. It's like, I know I'm smart and funny and hot and I have great penmanship. How freaking hard can it be? How come all these other people are out there getting their own TV shows and writing best-selling books and having large stretches of highway named after them while I am sitting here sucking. Ever feel that way? Like you're over here living this half-assed, mediocre, kind of rickety version of your life. Meanwhile, you've got all of this incredible potential inside of you just waiting to burst out. One day, she decided to pull her head out of her ass. One day I said, enough. I knew I had to start making some changes and that's when all of these self-help books started appearing in my house. I had like a teetering pile of them by my bed. They were everywhere. I was reading like 10 of them at a time and I was like, how am I gonna have the time to read all of these things? I gotta get some help over here. And then I realized they're self-help books. I gotta help myself. So I did. I started meditating and connecting with spirit. Eating pillows with baseball bats and showing up at these seminars where I was forced to high five the person next to me and scream, I believe in you. I also started hiring private coaches, which really freaked me out because I paid more for my first coach than I paid for all of my crappy cars put together. And believe me, all of this stuff was way outside my comfort zone. I mean, I used to be in a punk band. How did I wind up in some cheesy hotel lobby with a name tag on? discussing the laws of abundance in my business casuals. But I am glad I did, because let me tell you something, that shit works. It shifted something inside of me that allowed me to completely transform my life. In a world where cheesiness reigned supreme, one woman emerged victorious. Around this time, I sat my ass down and wrote my first book, which is a semi-autobiographical novel about being in a rock band called Don't Sleep With Your Drummer. It's basically a thinly veiled self-help book on following your dreams, regardless of how big and crazy they may seem, or regardless of the fact that you think that you play the guitar better when you're drunk. When my plans of becoming an internationally famous rock star didn't pan out, I decided I'd try being a lesbian instead, didn't pull that off either, and wrote my second book, The Straight Girl's Guide to Sleeping with Chicks. Having my daughter write a lesbian sex book is like a dream come true. This book went on to become a national bestseller. I got abused on The Howard Stern Show, and I started writing my nationally syndicated sex advice column, where I honed my skills of helping people get over their crap, because hello, sex? Is there any subject that makes people feel more shame and self-loathing and fear just because they like to dress up like stuffed animals and get it on with each other? Eventually, I went from helping people get over their sexual stuff to helping them get over their money stuff, their I want to start a business but can't get off the couch stuff, their why does my life totally suck stuff, because trust me, it's all the same stuff. I now coach people on all aspects of their lives, and I get to travel all over the world, work with the coolest people I've ever met, and I make great money doing it, which means I now can stay in fancy hotels instead of with some weird German dude who's a friend of a friend who asks me to wash his dog while he's off at work.
and I'm a former student of Jen Sincero's How to Write a Book Proposal class. Because of Jen's class, I had seven agents interested in reading my book proposal. Who gets to say that? If it weren't for Jen Sincero's book proposal writing boot camp, I would not be a New York Times bestselling author today. I was on the Today Show the first month the book came out, and we hit the New York Times list that following week. Last year at this time, I had um, no job. I was thinking about creating my own company and um, really no prospects. Um, Jen helped me open doors and windows into myself that I didn't even know existed. Um, I now sit poised to gross a um, million dollars in my company. And now it's your turn. Go to my blog, jensinchero.com and enter your name and email address, and I'll put you on my mailing list, which means I'll start sending you emails that'll help you get out of your rut and start making more money, and just generally start feeling really excited that you get to be you. I'll also send you information on cool books and events and programs that can help you get out of your own way. It's not rocket science. There are all these people out there living exactly the kind of life you want to be living. So when are you going to do something about it? It's time to stop doubting your greatness and start living large and in charge. No ground to stand on, but Jensencero.com. Live your damn life already.